It's not going to win fastest search dog at Cruft, is it, Milsey? It. The dog's got a name, boss. Monty. Come on, Monty. Find the device, yeah? Yeah, Monty. Get it turned into fine doggy mist. Oh, no, no, boss. Ow! I'd rather him than me, though, right? Space. Lucky we've got all day. I don't think he's well, boss. Oh, then should we take the little Bow Wow to the special doggy doctor? Hey! Good boy, eh, Monty? Good boy, Monty! Good boy! He didn't find anything. He's not well, is he? Is he? Is he? Right. I suppose it's all down to me, then. It doesn't look happy, do you? Uh, highly skilled being with opposable thumbs here. Would I command more of your attention if I licked my own bollocks? Obviously. Until the doggy woggy is bettery wettery, the operation's on hold. Can't they just spare another dog? Apparently not. I imagine they're all busy being rogered by their handlers. <laughs> so we can strap in for several days of sitting on our asses, and you, Mac, can masturbate to your heart's content. Go in, I imagine it will be. Don't forget to rinse Gloria out afterwards, yeah? Ignore them, Gloria. They don't understand what we have together. Hi, guys. Oh, oh, good afternoon. Oh, Hi, so I was thinking I'd like to do something really special for everyone. Excellent. I want to get everyone together, have a bit of fun, a bit of light relief. Oh, sounds like an orgy, Padre. No, I was thinking a Mexican night. Nice one, Padre. A Mexican uh, night. Rejoicing in the culture and history of that proud nation. Exactly. The cookhouse got sent a job lot about a date to retos, did they? That may also be the truth, yes. Well, let's celebrate this administrative error by wearing false moustaches and talking in slightly racist accents. Hola, amigo! Are you looking at my donkey? Arriba, arriba! Is that the kind of thing you had in mind? I just thought it might be fun. And I hear you guys aren't too busy, so if anyone would like to help... Yeah, because when we're not risking our lives bravely defusing bombs, we generally enjoy painting pretty pictures of cacti. Yeah. It is my job to organise this kind of thing, Nick. Didn't the last Padre do thing nice? Yes and no. French night involved baguette fencing and a garlic-eating contest. Spanish night involved Mac dressing up as a bull and us trying to poke him with bayonets. And <laughs> Pakistani night involved the resignation of two of our translators. So I think it's safe to say the bar for theme nights has been set pretty low. Reading between the lines, I think Nick's saying... Don't bother. Oh, you got that too. Right. Thanks for the support, guys. I think the Mexican no, night is a good idea. Oh. Hello, stranger. I'm Captain Parrick, Ben Recall. Here to see Monty, who's unwell, obviously. Otherwise, why would I be here? Well, it is a lovely part of the world, especially if you like sweating and or being blown to pieces. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, uh, Monty is looking a bit forlorn and is very sleepy. So that's scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm Corporal Bert. Linda, Bird. Belinda Bird. Bird. Linda. Corporal. Signal sleep. Bird, are you speaking in Morse? Sir, would you like some scrap? Um, I, I was uh, about to ask you the same thing. I should probably crack on with treating the dog. You know, get to the bottom of it. Possibly literally. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Not Roger it as in fuck it, but as in, you know. Um, let me point you in the right direction. In fact, I, I could show you. I could be your escort. <laughs> Not escort as in prostitute. Obviously, I'm not offering to have sex with you. <laughs> You'd have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> uh, not that that would mean um, we, we were in. Uh... Jesus. I know. Worst flirt ever. Right, Milsey, what am I doing next? Your paperwork, boss. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Milsey, could you do my paperwork? Sure thing, boss. Hey, what's this doing here? One of them sappers must have left it. Probably that poor fucker that lost his arms. <laughs> Property of Lance Corporal Jack Ferris. Fuck. I didn't know. You know, I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Well, as long as you make sure you focus on that and not all that paperwork I may have recently mentioned. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And you're sure it's OK for me to use the chapel? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's just that Charlotte sent me this DVD so I could learn the waltz for the wedding. I thought it best to keep it quiet. You know how Mac and Rocket would react? Aye. OK. <laughs> Sorry, it's a terrible accent. Yes, it was. Yeah, I don't need to waltz, though. It's a good idea. If you get it right, Charlotte will find it proper sexy. I don't need it to be sexy, I need it to be right. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. But it's very hard to say no to a man who can dance. Oh, what, what, you think she might say no? I thought the dance was after the vows. Shit! No, it's just, it's just an expression. Oh, right. <laughs> good. 
Yeah. I'm a sucker for dancing. I did salsa with my ex for a while. Oh, was that before he dumped you because of your, your gambling addiction? Yes, it was. Yeah. I love dancing. The feeling of being swept away. Away from all your... Mm. Oh. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I mean, uh, in the chapel. Oh, uh, no. No? I'm not sure if the Bible has a view on inflatable sex toys exactly. <laughs> anyway, I should go, because I've got lots to do. Crack on. Mm. Well now, it's for my wedding, okay? Oh, Charlotte's more open-minded than I thought. Yeah, I'm trying to learn a waltz for my first dance. Oh, yet another reason not to get married. Any dancing's bad enough. But Mary said it'd be sexy. Oh, Mary was wrong. Oh, she said she could never say no to a man who could dance. She said what now? She said she could never say no to a man who could dance. Simon, you and I are going to learn how to dance. What? It's Mexican night. It's going to have dancing. Oh, it is going to have a lot of dancing. This is going to be the theme night to end all theme nights. But not in the same way that Pakistani night nearly was. Mm. Great. Well, I'll tell Mary. No. No. Let's keep it as a nice surprise. What's the filthiest dance on here? Mm, probably the tango. It's basically vertical dry humping. Right. We're learning that. That's Argentinian, not Mexican. So? Salsa's Mexican. Salsa's for wankers. We're doing the tango. Besides, it's time we learn to embrace our Argentinian friends. Unless they try it on again, in which case we'll brass the fuckers up. Hang on. I need to learn the waltz. Simon, tango with me. I promise you waltzing to your heart's content. Fine. Right. You're, you're being, being the woman. woman. No! Simon, this is for Mary. You're being the woman. As long as you're the woman for me later. Simon, I thought you'd never ask. She don't want to go outside tonight. Because in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland. I'll find love with another man. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. <laughs> Nice. Yes, thank you very much. Chris fucking Martin. It's Ed Sheeran, actually, Boston. You learned that in a couple of hours. Well, yeah, I had a head start. I used to play the viola. So, you know, have you got any transport coming, or do I get to sit around for four to six more hours? Oi, oi, bird! Come Anyway, the uh, local farm's got a sick goat, so I'd better go. Hearts and minds, you know? Oh, <laughs> hearts and minds, yeah. Good one. Hearts and minds, even the hearts and minds of the goats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I said hearts and minds too much. I'm all about the hearts and minds. And... The other organs, of course. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, you are a vet. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, really brilliant. Bird, come on! Well, well but, uh, uh, but, bye, there, um, hot to mind. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be after bird. Oh, sorry, I should have said it's a false alarm. Oh, bloody hell. We've been setting you like assholes! So we really do have fuck all to do. Thanks for the immediate heads up. Sorry, boss, I was just getting the full story of Tom. At the vet. I mean, Captain Parrick. Do you want to know the real reason why it was a false alarm? No, we'd rather just take the piss out of you for a few more minutes. Oh, Tom! Oh, Tom! Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, oh, you make a Just hold you guys. I'd really like a hand making some bunting for Mexican night. What did you have slave dial? We've all got important things to do. Full kit check of 1500. What did you have slave dial? Oh, you heard! Kit check! Come on! Not you, Simon. We've got to go through our movement controls. What's that? I think. I just want to do something useful around the base. Oh, could you notice that none of those prayers of yours ever get answered? Well, one of them certainly hasn't been. <laughs> so you want to learn the days of love? OK, come on, Simon, we've got to get this right. It's not for me. This is for Mary. We're going to make this Mexican night unforgettable. Believe me, I'm not going to forget this in a hurry. <laughs> ah! The last part of it dare not speak its name. Well, don't mind me. You heard Millsy on that guitar. Boy's a genius. He's wasting his life titting about with IEDs. He could be the next James Blunt. I dabbled, of course. Singing. Guitar. But hanging around the place in ripped jeans, whining about girls. It's no sort of life, is it? No, sir. No, sir. You're beautiful. It's true. I see your face. Boss, I filled in the forms from last month, which have a deadline of last week. So, should I get started on Boss? Are you learning to tango? No. Oh, do you think that? Well, I do watch Rickley. 
That is my mum watches Strictly. Actually, we all watch it if, if it's on. Yeah, all right, Melzy. I'm going to surprise Mary with a tango at the Mexican night. All right, okay, but you know the tango's from Argentina. Yes, I know, Melzy. Sorry, boss. But no one's going to notice it's from Argentina if there's a shitload of Mexican bunting and flags and all that. Melzy, can you make a shitload of Mexican bunting and flags and all that? Yeah, but so I've got to do the. Bunt, uh, Melzy, now. Boss, the paperwork. Melzy, it's MOD paperwork. Bollocks to it. This is important. Now, you heard me. Get bunting. And whatever you do, don't tell Mac and Rocket about the dancing. Why not? Have you met Mac and Rocket? We'll never hear the end of it. What are you doing? Dancing. Gee, gee, gee. So right, Simon. Doing the May I have this dance? There you go. Lovely. Excuse me. I'm so glad we found this secret place. Uh, seen Corporal Bird? Why do you want to know? She seems like a friendly enough sort. And oh, I'll does she? Talk. She does she indeed. Simon, go and round up Rocket Mac and Mills and meet me in my quarters. You. Come with me. Let's go find her. So you're interested in Corporal Bird? You said we were going to find her? Now let me introduce the committee. I'm Captain Medhurst. This is Corporal Mills, Lance Corporal Lansley, and Private Armstrong. And your worst nightmare, and ours, Private McDowell. Hello, spout monkey. OK, this has been fun, so I just got... To... Fun? Oh, we're not here for fun. This is all part of the vetting process. <laughs> <laughs> we're just very concerned for Bird's well-being. And we've got bugger all else to do. So, parrot, what are your intentions towards her? Intentions? I'm not marrying her. Oh, so you just want to use her for sex? Wrong answer! Oh, come on! Shall I smack him, boss? No, uh, not yet. So come on, dog boy. Do you think you can keep her in the manner to which she's become accustomed? No hard, to be honest. TV remote and a packet of hobnobs, and she's happy. What we want to know, Captain, how much do you make? None of your business. Answer, fuck not! Just over 40k. I have fucking 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 Well done, Bullshit. you. It's not fair. You just don't even get shot. Well, I do get shot on. Even so, Captain, you are, with all due respect, a first-class pussy who missed his way through the Vickers and Tarts course at Sanders because he was good at biology. Anyone else got any questions? Hi. How far away is the moon? You got any STDs? No, I bloody haven't. You spend your time with your hand up a cow's arse. You must have been tempted to slip one in. No, Private. I've never been tempted to slip one in. And it's not their arse, but their vagina. Hmm. Interesting. Now listen, Parrick. We'll be watching you. And if you mistreat Bird in any way, Mac... I'll rip your arms off and stuff them up your ass! Or should I say... Vagina! <laughs> to Mexico, Bird? Nope. Will and I went once on a holiday. Well, <laughs> it was in a resort in Cancun. Will did find some lovely local things mm. for us to... It's all in the past. I'm really getting that. I didn't know the uh, Mexican flag had a hedgehog in the middle of it. It's an eagle. <clears throat> it's an eagle. Sorry, I'm just really determined to make Mexican night a living success. Tom, morning. Oh, hello, uh, Corporal. Want to grab a puke? Uh, well, I'm not really... I mean... It's all right, I won't bite. <laughs> if I do, I haven't got rabies. <laughs> That sounded classier in my head. It was funny. <laughs> uh, although, rabies is actually quite a serious problem out here. <laughs> right. I have a seat. Ah, uh, OK. So, um, how's Pasmonti looking? Better. And you're staying for... One more day. And... What's your favourite colour? Blue. Who have you been talking to? I didn't catch all of the names. I mean, no one. I have to go now. Bye. Ah, Mexican night. Good work, Padre. Thankless task. Still, nice hedgehog. Hey, stop, stop. Great, can we learn the waltz now? At some point. Right. This track's no good because of the voiceover. You know what Mary would like? Live music. Millsy, you're going to have to learn some tango music on that guitar. I've got my hands full with Bunting Boss. And uh, we've run out of paper, so... Yeah. I'm not sure that Mary would... Never mind. Carry on and take this DVD back a bit. Right. What the fuck have you not been saying to Pat... Oh. 
Let me stop there. What the fuck? Fucking hell, Nick. I thought Thursday night was man love night. It's for his wedding. Anyway, what have you lot been saying to Parrick? Because I just tried talking to him and he could not have given less of a shit. Were you telling him your I once met a Spice Girl story? No. And FYI, that is a good story. Which one did you meet, by the way? Mel C. Sporty. I always like Ginger. Oh, oh Jesus. Wait. I know, I'm not proud of it. Hey, you shouldn't be. Ginger was the boring one that boring people fancy because they thought she was a bit racy. You know, the kind of guys that think that doggy style is really out there. Yeah, I mean, obviously I fancy the other four as well. Actually, I had this dream once where all five of them were... Mm. Never mind. So, look, are you going to help us prepare for Mexican night behind Mary's back? Ooh, Nick and Mary up a tree. D-A-N-C-I-N-G. Dancing? Up a tree? Yeah. <laughs> look, can you bunt so that Millsy can get on and learn his tango music? OK. OK, but you need to fix this with Parrick. And be subtle, right? Subtle. Right. What's wrong with Corporal Burr? Nothing, as far as I can tell, while keeping a respectful distance. Yeah, well, your respectful distance is starting to come across as fucking rude. Fucking rude! Wait, one fast boss! Get off! He's not getting off the butt. Up to your elbow in a coast taxi! Vagina! It's the vagina! Because the jacksy would be disgusting. Sometimes you have to clear out the rectum before you... It's not important! You know, you're lucky to have Bird interested in you at all. It certainly doesn't feel that way. She's honest. She's loyal. She's a surprisingly considerate lover. What? what? Yeah. Yeah, it happened in Andover when we said we were going to the Georgian Dragon. Just got it out of the way, said we'd never speak of it again. Well, to each other anyway. I spent bloody ages looking for that pub. Anyway, any more questions for Parrick? Aye. How hey, close are Brontosaurus? Good morning, all. Don't get up. Actually, I'm tied to the chair. Oh, yes. Mary seems to be in a bit of a funk about this Mexican night, thinks she's not getting enough support. I presume you're organising it secretly behind her back to try and impress her? Um, good oh. Anything I can do, etc. Parrick, we're having a mini shindig tonight. A mindig, if you will. You're going to ask Bird along, I think. But I thought so. Carry on. Run! Corporal Bird. Could we... Yes, Captain Parrick? So, um, Corporal... I... I was wondering if you would like to go to this mini shindig with me. A mindig? Yeah, go on then. Great, so I'll see you at 20 hundred hours. Will do. I'll be the one wearing this. Right, <laughs> <clears throat> right I think we've got them all. I'm going in. Wait, boss. Monty's thinking about something. I'll be sure not to tread in it. Thank you, bird. Yeah, he's found another device. Just outside the five and twenties. Shit. Too close for comfort. Okay, we've got to move back, everyone. You're a good boy. Well done. Well done, Monty. Now all you need to do is use the disruptor to cut the wire. Tell you what, I'll do that. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> really have vaginas. Aye, obviously. Do they? You just never think it. Of course they have vaginas. Otherwise, how would they shag each other? What about fish? Huh? Fish. The fish have vaginas. Aye. So they must do, so they can get fish fingered. Fish don't have fingers. I know. They're just called fish fingers, but they're actually just made up a wee bits of fish. Aye, I... Forget it. What about whales? Whales probably have vaginas. Massive fucking vaginas. I think most animals have vaginas. Or some other thing for shagging for having baby animals out of Baby animals come out of vaginas? Aye! Where'd you think they come out of? Where is everybody? Nick, light, light on the feet. I'm wearing boots. It's a bad attitude, not footwear. But can we just stop this now and start along the water? Because Charlotte was quite insistent. Well, you expect me to compromise my non-existent relationship with Mary for some wedding? Oh, come on. Look, I just think... All right, ladies, simmer down. Take it back, Mills. You want to practice the dip again? What the fuck is that? 
Yes! Exactly! That's meant to be a tangle hold you've got serious problems. What? Eh? I used to represent my school at Scottish Country Dancing. Only did a wee bit of ballroom, but I know a dodgy hold when I see one. Well, this takes the heat off me. Mac, if you'd like to get started on the jokes. Dancing, gay, rockets are buffy. Nothing gay about Scottish Country Dancing. I thought you were one of the good guys, Skip. But that's both homophobic and racist. You need to take a long, hard look at yourself. But what about the gay Gordons? There's nothing fucking gay about the gay fucking Gordons! I stand corrected. Speaking of which, Rocket, come and show us a proper tango hole. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was doing that. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm impressed, Rocket. Thanks, boss. Didn't know you could count that high. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't expect anyone to help, but I thought people would come. I mean, at least for the free Doritos. There you go. Hmm. Cheers. Good work, Padre. Like the flag. Gucci hedgehog. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh... I'm gonna leave you to it. So, did I tell you I met Mel C in the Spice Girls? Really? Yeah. How come? Well, I was shopping with my sister. Vamos! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's star attraction, a mariachi <laughs> tribute band. And I say tribute because tonight is the night mariachi music dies. Please go wild for Lost, Frost, Frost, Frost! <laughs> <laughs> such a lovely surprise. Just when I thought you have been a complete twat about it. Oh, it is. It's just like Cancun-ish. Well, we had a little spare time on our hands, so... <laughs> What's the bunting made of? Oh, interesting. Okay. Mac personally sacrificed 30 porno mags to make it. I'm touched. You should be. It's only 10% of his library. Although I'm not really sure how Mexican it is. There's a Brazilian. That's pretty close. What's the matter? Sorry. Sorry. It's Will. I miss him so much. Sorry. Who can killing Can you let me up, please? I need... I need some time to think. You've got to be fucking joking! You better carry on. Sir. Well, we learned it now. There she was, Melty. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I've always had a bit of a thing for the ginger one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I think we're done here. So, tomorrow we learn the rules, as promised. Promised? Doesn't sound like me. For the last 24 hours, we've done nothing. Don't worry, Simon. Rocket! What? Cut in. That's an order. There you go, Simon. Waltz lessons. That's yeah. a piece of flesh. Just do a triangle with your feet. Oh. Uh, uh, gee. How many Doritos have you eaten? Only ten bags. Well, there's more company from BBC Three. If you've missed out, catch up with some girls available on the BBC iPlayer right now. While fighting mysterious creatures, a Viking tribe needs a 13th warrior. Antonio Bandera stars next on BBC One.